Good evening and welcome back once again. So today we're in the second leg of the Europa League against Arsenal and this is the team we're going in with. We've got Mudrik, Ruben Castro and Carlos Perez up top. Carlos Perez was man of the match in the last game. A couple of great goals. Got Fabio Vieira, Cousins and Mariba is uh, playing in that deeper role. We've got a change of the centre-backs with Ogbonna and Balbuena coming in. And we've got the first choice, wing-backs of Emerson and Bakke with Schubert and goal. Massive match today. We obviously were very much on top in the first leg. So we just need to wear, uh, well, to not lose basically. But um, we'll be going for the win. Of course, you've got the likes of Fabio Vieira coming back to face Arsenal. His old team. Love him to score. Martinelli, unfortunately, on a downward red. So he's not in the squad. And if you watch any of my videos please go and watch the last one the last match in the series with what I think is probably well it's definitely goal of the season for me it's probably one of the best goals I've ever scored in any football game it was a, a volley from outside the box from the left back Tech share it um, ball dropped from a, a sort of well a clearance from a corner and just dropped and it was in the air ages or seemed like ages and I just hit it so sweetly um, and it hit off the inside of the post and went in it was just one of those perfect goals anyway here's Emerson oh, would you go ahead but yeah if you can go and, and the other goals I think was it 3-0 in the end I think it was um, but every goal in that match was brilliant Teixeira scored the first one with that just ridiculous goal and then Perez got a couple of really good goals as well. There was a couple of, you know, potentially goal of the month jobs in there. I'll not beat the Teixeira one, but um, they were very good. So it was certainly a, an episode full of uh, quality. Carlos Perez and Castro. Ah, come on, Mudrik, you've got to do better. Sometimes he's just... I don't know what it is. Gives the ball away too many times when he's in that area. And when it works, it's great. You know, he's fan got fantastic speed and shooting on him. But, uh, oh, referee, don't start being an absolute dick. Oof. Nice take from Mudrick. And then he gives away a pass. See, just Mudrick in a nutshell. I love him. He's a great player. He's not what I would say is consistent, but nice play there. To Cousins. To Baka. Just about kept it in. And here's Mariba. Vieira. Mariba again. Nah, I knew I was going to give that away. Good tackle though. Where's that gone? Bob in it. Nice play, Vieira. Oh, nice ball to Castro. Oh, should have scored. Just couldn't get it out from under my feet there. Still should have scored. Could have probably taken on another touch, but the. Defenders are so quick in this game, regardless of who the players are. They're, they're pretty quick at reacting or getting back. And uh, before you know it, you're getting tackled. Or your shirt pulled. And uh, your chance is gone. So sometimes it is better to take this shot early. Ooh, nearly got lucky. Carlos, uh, sorry, Castro didn't react. Quickly enough, but here's Mariba. <sighs> Got to get that pass through there. Come on, I'm trying to change to the player. That's literally where the ball's going to. Never mind. No one in support of Perez there. No Vieira. There's no one there. Where's everyone? Get on with it, will you? <laughs> I 
just sick of these referees. And that was, I mean, that was definitely a foul. That's the thing. That was 100% a foul. Ooh, that was lucky. I thought that was a foul. Which would have been a penalty, obviously. It's just gone scrappy. I don't know what is there. Uh, comp seem to put a pass together. Hey. Well, calling it now, I would say go and quit this video and go and watch the, the previous video. Even if you've already watched it, go and watch that goal again instead of this rubbish. Um, yeah, obviously, you'd probably get better anyway. Oh, come on, Perez. Every touch seems to be heavy in this game. Right, good tackle from Amiibo. Oh, he, the referee didn't call a free kick. And somehow, Carlos Perez, who is so quick, is not as quick as that bloody lumbering defender. Nice work from Mudrick that time. Perez. Mudrick. Oh. Rodrigo again, Castro, Perez, Castro, oh no, anyone, and that'll be half time. Poor first half, let's just jump straight into the second. I'm not even going to try and analyse that half, it was just poor. Had chances, as did Arsenal, but nothing to wait home about. Good tackle from Balboa in it. How is Ca Come on, Castro. Castro is quick. He's way quicker than their defender. Offside. What? Well, no, because the whistle went before I even made the tackle. How does that... What? I'm not sure what happened. I honestly don't know what happened there. It was, a, it was a free kick, fair enough, but it wasn't for the one that I slid in for at the end because the whistle went before I even made the tackle. Um, so I'm not sure what that was about. And if it was before that, it was n the free kick should have been nowhere near there. Well, it's a good job we've got that 4-0 lead from the first leg because if we were really pushing for a win here, I'm not doing a very good job. Am I not getting the not getting that rub of the green? You know, all the just all heavy touches, pass are hitting our own players out there. And it's just frustrating. I'm not playing great myself, but you know, all the little things that you need sometimes. I mean, look at that. That is just scripting. Pure and simple. Um, and I don't know if it's just because I play a lot of this game, but I've seen an awful lot of it lately. I know this is an old game. It's not like they're changing or anything, but... Can someone win the ball back, please? Thank you. No, no one in support. Can't keep a hold of the ball. Stop me. Alright. Well, let's make some subs now. Right, I'm actually going to bring on Bouchere for Perez. Fabio Vieira is going off for Arcas. And I'm going to take Marie Roth just because he got a yellow card there for Herrera. And then... Um, I mean, has anyone had a good game? I don't think they have, really. So, taking people off it was more like, well, how many can I, how many subs can I make, really? I mean, the likes of Mudruk. Actually, Mudruk's been alright. Oh, that's a terrible ball. Nothing's gone right in this game. What is going on? 
is he going to get a red card? Yeah, I wasn't even controlling that player and he's absolutely slid in. Let's watch this again. I wasn't controlling him. I was controlling, I don't know if you'll see it in shot. I was controlling, uh, who's that? Albuena. And he's just come thundering in. And I've just made my subs. Right. Um... My backer is going to centre back. Ah, this game is just doing my head in. Of course, there's no one over there. <laughs> I was looking for backer at the left back, but uh, nope, he's not there. Come. Now, this is definitely scripted. There's no way that that hits. The ball is played to him and he turns around at the last second and hits his back and goes for a throw in. Nah, I'm not having it. And that's a foul. Thank you. Yellow card. No, he gets a talking to. Of course he does, because the referee's clearly just paid off in these games, I swear. Not here I was trying to pass to at all, but never mind. Right, Emerson. Emerson can't even play a five yard pass. This happened in the game recently, it was a three or four matches ago. Um What I give up. I absolutely give up. What? That was all the AI doing that. It's, it was not me control. <laughs> uh. Yeah, of course, that'll probably not be yellow card either. Nope, of course not. Run. Stop running through Treacle. Oh, come on, man. That's not a free kick. Right. There's going to be some more red cards in a minute, I swear. Right, yellow card this time. Oh, well done. You know where the, where the yellow card is when it's the opposition. Great. So angry in this game. <sighs> Just taking players out here. I mean, it was got a good tackle in the end, actually, but. No, can't play a pass at all. Here's Bajer, though. Oh, come on, you've got to take that touch. This is... Mm. It's not... <laughs> he was even aiming at... To clear them out. Right, 
I mean, even if this, even if I did win this game, which obviously I'm not going to now, I'm not even going to draw it, but it's been just such a dreadful game. Balbuena. Oh my word. How have you missed that? What is Balbuena doing up there? We've got 10 men in Balbuena's... And there it is, full time, very disappointing result. Yes, we get through and I should be happy about that, but it's just a shock on performance. Uh, performance wise, Balbuena getting a seven for some reason, even though he missed a sitter right at the end. Emerson, 4.5. Ogbonna, who got sent off, somehow got a higher rating than Emerson. <laughs> yeah, just a terrible performance. No, no one should have got a, a good rating in that. And as you can see on the bottom there, we're actually being drawn against AC Milan, which used to be one of my all time favorite clubs. Back in the day, back in the 90s when I used to watch the Italian football on Channel 4 in the UK. Some great memories of the Italian league and AC Milan. The likes of Shevchenko. Shevchenko was one of my all-time favourite players. Kaka, Gattuso, Seidoff, uh, Dida in goal. Yeah, absolutely used to love watching them. That'll be a really interesting match. I don't think... Well, I certainly haven't played them on this game so far. So yeah, it'll be really interesting to watch. So join me for that one in a few matches time. But um, hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. And hopefully I'll see you all next time. And hopefully it'll be better than this game. Cheers.